Hello, this is a really quick video. I want to show you um, a client and I'm working with on some braids like this and like this. And I just want to show you she's had this hair one year on the 23rd of this month. And she's done her hair four times. Let me see one, two, three times. And this is the hair, and she's going to tell you what she did with it. Go ahead. Uh, all I did was fill my sink up with uh, warm water. And while it was running, I poured some apple cider vinegar, vinegar over in it. And um, set the hair down in there and just, you know, kind of pushed it down. And mm -hmm. I let it sit for an hour. After that, I let all that water out and ran some more water and I put um, some leave-in conditioner and olive oil in the water, but, you know, not a lot, just a little bit to make it shiny. And I let that sit for like 10 minutes and after that, I just would pick it up by the little bundles, squeeze it out, and lay it out on a towel for the air dry. And that's it. And this how much hair did, how much did this hair cost a uh, hundred dollars and so per pack it was uh i needed 10 packs so it was 9.99 9.99 a pack mm -hmm. okay and we cannot remember which hair we used we but it looked like <clears throat> we think it looked like that and hold that up so we can see how many inches that is hold that hair up so that's 7 14 that's about 18 to 20 inches that's why it costs so much that hair because the 14 inch hair I showed on my, I keep information on my packs when my clients come to get their hair done. This one was only $4.99 for 14 inch. So hers was $9.99 and I can't find the original hair that we use. I know it was a Havana. But uh, I just wanted you guys to see this and then I want you to look at the top of, this is the hair I'm gonna be working with. I'll, fit, I'll come back when I get the braid pattern done and uh, I'll come back when it's all done. But we just wanted you to know that this is $100 worth of hair. She is now getting ready to use it for the fourth time. And when I put it in, I only put one knot in. Maybe I'll show you that. And uh, just to let you know, you can, you can reuse this hair. If you take care of it, if you tie it up at night, uh, you can get, have great success out of it. And then the getting it done is you know, not gonna cost you much for a couple hours of work. So, I'll be back. Okay, before I get going, what I'm doing is I start on one side. She wants all of her braids going back. So, I'm just going to, I've braided this one. And then over here on this side, I'm going to braid this one back. Come over here and connect to this one. And that's it. And then all the rest of these are going to do, do that back method. And I'll show you how I uh, hide the that bottom tail of each braid. And the um, only other difference I do uh, is I use yarn. And yarn helps strengthen her hair because we're getting ready to weigh it down with big braids. And she normally, how much time do you normally get out of each time you get it down? Do you leave it up for? Uh, almost two months, eight weeks. Eight weeks, she leaves it up for eight weeks. So she has no damage, no, you know, no tension on her sides. And then when I put them in, I only put one knot in. Uh, but like I said, the yarn just really helps strengthen it. And um, there's no special technique to starting it. I just take the yarn and fold it in half and actually just start my braid. And uh, then whatever's left dangling, I just kind of put it up in the hair. But like I said, it really, it really strengthens the hair and then also, it um, helps keep the hair conditioned. I'm gonna hold you back a little bit. I need to like start closer to the edge. Um, she's got a lot of grease oils in her hair this time, so it's making it a little slipperier. But what's good about this, when we take these out, and I show them every time I take them out, there's no hair all connected up in here. It doesn't pull out the hair. Um, it helps keep it conditioned and that's what I was going to tell you. Like if you spray your scalp or spray your hair or 
uh, it just saturates into the yarn and just sits on your hair. And it's keeping your hair conditioned all of that time. And then when you take it down, your hair is really soft. Really, really soft. So I've been using yarn now for probably almost over a year on quite a few of my clients. Even the ones that have thick hair, if I know that they're gonna keep their hair up longer than a month or so, I'll just go ahead and throw some yarn in on it. So, this is just a basic, normally I do spirals on her and uh, or bring them back, half back, and then do spirals around. So every time we try different things just to see what works, what works for her. And also by using yarn, something I found, I don't have to grip the hair as tight. And so it's not really tight on their head. They're not leaving here trying to have to take some aspirins or I'm just gonna keep you on film till I get all the way around to the side on and connect. And then I'll come back. And it really helps pick up really grip short hair. Got some people with really short hair back here in the back if you have a piece of yarn. And by me being a yarn designer, a crochet designer, I don't, I have plenty of yarn. And all different colors. So when they come with gray hair or red hair, or I could just grab the yarn and blend it right in. All right, so I'm on that last one. I'm just gonna braid that one together. And then when I'm all done, her last braids, I'll pull this up into it. Not tight at all. And the reason I do this is so that there's not a big hump back here from bringing these braids down. The hump is a little higher in here. And not as bulky and sticking out. I guess I call it the braid back pull up method. I'm Anyway, I just braid it down to her hair. We're done. And then I'll pull it right up. There we go. All right, I'll be back uh, a little bit. Okay, I was just showing my young lady. I told you guys I was a crochet designer. This is grocery bags. So in my area, I go to Kroger's. This is the meat market. Black is the hair store and gray is gray and there's Walmart. And I just took some nylon thread and made a drawstring for the bag. And so this was my bag that I took on my cruise. And I'm also now making a luggage piece to go with it to pull. And just go on my, uh, you'll see how I did this. And then I've got a video I'm working on right now on how I made the actual one that's gonna be my luggage piece. I've got to go to a women's conference in November, so I plan on taking that with me. But anyway, here we are back at the hair. And I'm just going to braid this one down. When I get halfway, right here, then I'll pick up this braid, pull it up, and continue to braid down. And again, I told you I was using yarn. You hear our, our my granddaughter and her daughter in the background, so you'll know all of my videos are just like... If you were at home, that's what I do. Try to get the picture. Everybody exploiting our children. Alrighty. So here we go. And so like I said, I just kind of fold it in half a little bit. And just begin to braid. And I don't have to braid real tight. She's got a real curly. She has a really nice grade of hair. So she says she just kind of wets it and brushes it down a little bit with a, with a, a toothbrush. I got a phone call coming in. Okay. All right, I'm keep braiding. When I get right here, I'll pull it back up. Hold on a second. Okay. So now here, I'm halfway through this braid. Take this, pull it up, grab, pinch it with my finger, and just keep on braiding. And don't pull it tight, but enough to grip it, enough to hold it in there, and then once you put the hair over top of it, it's not going anywhere. 
But this method, it makes it, the braids lay down, look a lot nicer up underneath, and you don't have that big bulky, bulky look. And so what I do is I'll do one or two on this side, and then I'll go over and do one or two on the other side until I'm finished. And then I'll just feed that last one in. Now on the other side, I just grabbed up the bottom one over there. Because I'm going to show you something else right quick. As soon as I finish breaking. Then I, this one, this one too? Yep. And when I get near the bottom, since I'm using yarn, I separate the hair. Put all of the hair in the middle and then I just finish braiding it out so when it's time for her to take it down, it's really easy to take it down. Alright, so we braid it all the way down. See how long her hair is. She got all this pretty hair but she don't want to do it. Too much. All right, and then I'm gonna turn her a little bit. Let's see. Of course, my basement is always still kind of dark. So that one braid went all the way around here, and then what I did when I came back with this one, I just lifted that up into it. When I have the video cam facing this way, I can't zoom in. So that's the only thing I hate about that. But this is the only way I can do it hands free. Really pretty good. Cool. So when I come back. With this one, I'll just reach up somewhere up in here and grab it and come on back down. And it's a really beautiful pattern. And fairly easy to take out. Alright. Alright, I'm at my last braid. There's two hanging down here. I'm going to grip up into this. So I'm going to take the first one and pull it up. And braid a couple of braids, a couple of turns, and I'm going to get the other one and pull it up. And that's how I bring them into that middle one. Finish it off. Bring them all into one. And it's nice and flat. It's really good. I split this one because this one was a little thick. So I split it, just put some yarn right here, hooked on, and kept on going down. The bottom is all nice and smooth. Put your down. The bottom is all nice and smooth. So now I'll just start putting them in. I'll show you how I put one in, and then I'll show you the finish. Okay, my client has an issue. See this little thing right here? After two months, she can't find it. Whether you're going to have it in a spiral or this. So this is the my dilemma. What to do with this braid right here. So I want to take it and run it up underneath here. So it's hidden and wild. It won't come out. She wants me to just tuck it or lay it up and put the hair over top of it. And I just don't want them to pop out and it be sticking out of her braid. So you and your client will have to get together and decide what to do with that. Some people I've seen take it and take some thread and whip it across. You know, I'm, I think with this one, I'm just going to just kind of put it up underneath here and pull it through just that bottom one. And then lay the hair over top of it. I guess that's all I can do. Hand me, hand me one of your hairs. So that she doesn't get too frustrated when it's time to. Uh, the whole purpose of doing this project, we don't want. We want it to be easy to go in and easy to come out. So I'm just gonna. Pull it through. Just keep doing it like that across the bottom. That's what we can have another one. Connect it, and she'll have to tell me in a month's time or let me know. Okay, I'll stick the hair on my on my latch hook, grab the tail, close the latch, and pull it through. Through both. And tighten it. 
And this is how she's able to take it out and reuse it. So I open up the, stick my hook through, go through one of the braids, still working with this tail, I'm laying the tail over top of that. Sorry. Close the latch, pull it through, pull it through. I do everything in one sweep. Now that time, I didn't get the tail. Try to get it on the side of my Girls are having a good time while we're doing here today. Oh. Oh, they're still sticking out. All right, so I think I'll just lay it up under this braid here. Again, I'll come back when I'm done. Oh, what happened? All right, we are finished. She loves, hold your head down. She loves how it looks. We had to do some compromising here, but thinning in it out so it won't be so heavy. But looks good. You see the back? Very long. Beautiful color. I don't even know. Do we know what color this is? We can't find the. Like I said, this hair is a year old, so. Oops. Beautiful. You like it? Mm -hmm. All right, ladies. That's the end of ours. So you can reuse this hair, so don't let anybody tell you you can't as long as you take care of it like she did. Tie it up every night, and um, when you take it out, wash it. She did it last night. All right. Thank you for watching, and as always, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel.